So now let's talk about SAML and SKIM. So we already talked about these protocols before when we mentioned the different customers and how they are leveraging uh, WorkOS to build their enterprise features. We also use these things ourselves, and that's what we want to show to you today. So the WorkOS dashboard now have two new features that we provide to developers. Uh, one is single sign-on, and the other one is powered by directory sync. Uh, the idea is that you can look at these features and make your uh, team even more secure when you're using the WorkOS dashboard, but also look at them in terms of uh, as a reference uh, for implementation and uh, serve as an inspiration as you're building your own. So for single sign-on, uh, we want to enable uh, members to log in with a single uh, identity provider, and there are more than 20 uh, different integrations, not only with SAML, but also with OpenID Connect. This is how you enable, you go to Workplace and you would see this, this option there to enable it. And same thing for Directory Sync. We have a way for you to automatically provision and deprovision users and we support more than uh, 12 different um, directory providers powered by SCAM, but also other HRIS um, APIs too. So to do that, you go to Workspace, same same place, and you enable uh, directory sync there. Now I'm gonna uh, pass it over to Wilman, and he's gonna show a demo of how you can do that using the WorkOS dashboard. Hi, I'm Wilman, and I'm a software engineer at WorkOS. Over the past few years, Hundreds of developers have used WorkOS to integrate directory sync and single sign-on into their applications. Today, I'm going to show you one of those applications, our very own developer dashboard. We've taken the learnings we gained while helping those many developers integrate enterprise features with WorkOS and applied them ourselves. By default, teams can sign into WorkOS using either Google, or email and password. When your team has access to the single sign-on feature in the Enterprise Bundle, you unlock a third option, the ability to sign in via an identity provider. On the Authentication tab of the Team Settings, you'll find all of the controls for managing access to the dashboard. You'll find links for configuring both single sign-on and directory sync and you'll also find the option to configure multi-factor authentication for your team. All of these are powered by the related WorkOS products. So let's add single sign-on for our team. We'll do the setup through the same admin portal our developers have access to via our API. All we need to do is follow the screenshots and documentation. Within minutes, single sign-on is configured and we're able to sign in via Okta. We can reopen the admin portal at any time to monitor the health of our connection and to see the recent activity of our teammates logging into WorkOS. We can also invite a teammate and they're able to log in via SSO. But managing users manually like this can be tedious, especially on larger teams. Not only do you have to manually invite new teammates when they need access to WorkOS, you also need to remember to remove their account when they leave your company. So let's set up Directory Sync to solve this. Just like single sign-on, we'll use the admin portal and follow the step-by-step -step instructions. Now, similar to single sign-on before, we have a directory configured with Okta. In Okta, let's provision all of the users on our engineering team. And just like Magic, they're all invited to WorkOS now and can sign in with single sign-on. You can see just how well these two features play together. Need to deprovision a user? No problem. Let's say Luke's left the company. You'll notice we no longer allow removing him from inside the dashboard. Everything is now managed over in Okta to keep a single source of truth. If we hop over into Okta and remove him there, you'll see he's automatically removed from the WorkOS dashboard. And that's single sign-on 
and directory sync in the WorkOS dashboard. They're the easiest way to manage your teammates and to use WorkOS. All of the features you saw today were powered by the APIs that we make available to all of our developers. Thank you so much, Wilman. So if you want to start using these features today, uh, please contact us so we can uh, enable it for you. And this is our way to make your access to the WorkOS dashboard even more secure. So it's going to allow team members to log in using uh, their your own IDP and also provision the provision users.